On the last one, we ran around and did some things and collected a bunch of cacti at the very end. And I thought, you know what? Just for the giggles today, let's start upgrading some tools and see what happens. Lumber and rubber. Interesting. Okay. Well, sure. Let's do that. And then um, steel and ceramics. And you can melee an extra target. Okay. Done. And wow, if we had more lumber, we could do it again. Holy cow, dude. I think maybe we need to stop and um, make some lumber or something. And then I thought if we have the materials, we might want to do this too. Oh, look at that. We've got enough for the proximity mine. So we're going to go ahead and make this. The reason we're doing this is I think if we do that, we're going to be able to carry one more of the throwable items at a time. And I might be more inclined to carry... Ooh, safari hat. What does that one do? Heat block. Oh, we don't have enough cactus. Interesting. Okay, so we need to make that, I think. Because, um... You know what? We can upgrade that guy, too. You know, let's go back, because if we go back to our gear... Sure, we got hides and rubber. That's going to block a little more damage. Block a little more heat. Uh, I'm not ready to put steel into that thing just yet. Don't you get all crazy on me now. No. All right. Um, actually, you know what? Here, let's... I don't know if we need to have the bat around. I think I'm inclined to carry the axe right now just because it'll do a ton of damage. I'm not sure if we can harvest everything with it or how that'll go exactly, but, you know, we'll find out. I am curious if we can melee multiple enemies at the same time. I mean, I think that's how that worked with the sickle, and this is basically an upgraded sickle. Sorry, I'm actually looking for a camp fire, uh, not a campfire, uh, an oven, a stove, or something, but I'm not really seeing one. Whack! <laughs> oh, that power attack is good. Uh, just out of curiosity, yep, see, we can carry more things now. As a matter of fact, just to try it out, here, let's do this. Um, can I... Oh. Here, let's open the door for you. And we'll just throw that out there, and this guy's probably going to come wandering out. Eh, it did a little damage. Not a ton. But the important thing is, it made him vulnerable. Oh. Beefy swing right there. Oh, yeah. See, that's why we need the bat. I was worried that the metal things would be a problem. So then, potentially, that means we can go back to baseball bat, and we don't need the machete. Because the axe should cover what the machete the machete does. You know what? I'm going to take a sit right quick, just so we can replenish our minds. I mean, I know it might seem kind of silly, but uh, you know, whatever. Just to make sure. Here, let's go back to the baseball bat. I need to compare. Uh, that was a critical, so that's not a fair comparison. Oh, that's all good stuff right there. Definitely take those. I mean, as we just saw, we actually need a bunch of electronics anyway. Hey, look at that. We can finally chop these trees down. Excellent. That's been a minute. It's actually really good. I'm very excited about that. Because that gives us a, another another good wood source. Oh, it looks like you can actually chop that down at some point. That's fantastic. I'm really excited to try that, actually. Believe it or not. I mean, that might sound kind of dumb, but I actually am kind of curious to try that. Yep, there's the melee attack, hitting multiple objects. That is so much better. I, I definitely like that. So here, let me grab some more of these cacti. Want to make sure that we grab enough of them to make both the juice and the safari gear. And then we'll be totally fine for when we get into a deeper, hotter portion of the desert. At least I assume we're going to at some point. I think we've done everything we need to in Driftwood, so we're just going to carry on and go back to the west and see where this takes us, because there should be a mine or something over here. Eye of the Desert. Okay. We should have what we need to upgrade and uh, craft, rather, the, the hat or the safari thing, so we'll take care of that. Next time we sit, I just thought, you know what, we're going to end up burning through a bunch of plant materials, so let me go ahead and grab a couple of these right quick. It's a shame I didn't hit those, uh, I don't know, reeds or whatever while standing there too, but, you know, minor details and such. God, little spiky guys are obnoxious. 
You're just obnoxious. Um, I guess we'll come through over here. I do want to stop and hit that fishing spot before I'm done. So I guess, let's see, it looks like it's going to be over here-ish as a fishing spot. So uh, why don't we give that a whirl right quick? These guys are all dead, right? Right. I think this is a fishing spot. I don't see it marked on the map, but it looks like one. All right. Well, that's all the fish. And that's enough to basically make a couple more recipes. So I don't know, man. That's that's not a bad little haul right there. I'm feeling pretty good about that. And then let's go ahead and just kind of head up north here. And we'll call this good. Hi, how you doing, sir? Let me get my correct weapon out. Oh, man, I was so close to being only two attacks, and I know one of them was, indeed, a critical. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll do this. That's fine here. We'll, we'll grab that. We'll send everything back, and that way we can pick these guys up. I do kind of want to fill in the, the road just a little bit here, because, I mean, uh, Leaper guy and Explodey guy. I wonder if their explosions can wreck everyone else. Cause that'd be kind of cool, right? Ow. Um, here, can I maybe put one of those on the ground? I mean, that sort of didn't work. I don't know. I'm not sure what happened to everyone back there. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't seem to hurt his friends. Oh, wow. All right, body grabbed, body looted. Let's just backtrack over here a little bit. This is kind of how I came through. So if you see a bunch of bodies, well, that's why. It's one of those things where there's just enough going on with this game where it seems like it kind of pays dividends to go back and, you know, not necessarily retrace your steps, but follow the path, the different paths to see what sort of stuff you might find. Like, you know, hey, there's just some free steel lying around right here. Kind of hard to beat that. And it looks like this is the convoy, maybe? I'm not sure if this is the convoy. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Yep. Okay. It is the lost convoy. What you got? This fan is completely empty. And then... Let's see. I want to wait a second. Let's wait until that guy turns around. And then you. Ah, boy. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say to that. Here, we need to turn off target on that guy. Good gravy. Ugh. All right, back at these guys. I'm throwing a grenade at them because I'm annoyed. And we're going to call that just fine. And I definitely didn't die a second time coming over here. My body was totally right here the first... I mean, the only time I died. Because, you know, why would I say anything else? I mean, duh, only died once. Didn't die a second time. I don't know why you would even insinuate that. I, that's, that's very hurtful to me. And I would prefer that you keep those thoughts yourself. Thank you very kindly. Let's see what's in this fan. Is that a leg? I don't know. Only some clutter and broken boxes here. Seems like one of the vehicles escaped the massacre. It must have been the one carrying the important cargo. So if I'm to guess, then it sure looks like it's gone this way. Follow the tracks. It looks like it got that way and then this way. Stop and get the dog. I'm gonna guess maybe it kept going on the road here. There it is. There's the tracks. There's the tracks. And we have been over here, but I don't think we went this side. So let's get rid of dog one and dog two. And this is the vehicle we've already found. We didn't have an option to search it before, I don't think. This does seem quite important. 6,000 experience. The final vehicle seems to have crashed hard, but you can still manage to salvage the important cargo. 6,000 experience for that. All right. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that it dropped that we don't have room for, so you know what that means. 
Ooh, we got a mana shard out of that. Interesting. I think. I don't know. Seems like that would be interesting to me. Okay, let's get rid of those guys. I think since we're right here, what we'll do is we will roll up to the campfire, take a sit right quick, and then we're going to figure out where we need to go next by looking at the map. If I were a cartographer, I would want to go that way. So let's see if we can make it to the tower today. I am actually and honestly determined to do that. Oh my gosh, 683 damage. Brutal. I'm also hoping that somewhere over here we'll find, I don't know, uh, something to cook in. I know, we could make the cooking stand. I'm just lazy and don't want to, okay? I'd rather save my materials and time for something else, I guess. I don't know. Plus, we need to explore anyway, so it just seems like there'd be a good chance that there's something out here. And if not, well, then there will be a campfire nearby somewhere. The diamond mine. See? Look at that. There's a campfire right there. Told you there would be one around. Here, let's go in here and just take care of going into this place before we go back outside. Can we get the barrels with an axe? Yeah, I didn't think so either, but, uh, you know... Worth a shot, right? Man, we just need to upgrade the, the baseball bat a little more. And I don't know that we actually can. I'm just saying it'd be great if we could. Here, let's go ahead and switch back to the old axe axe. And then it looks like if we go around this side, there's a container we can check. Gosh, that just plows through stuff now. It's such a great upgrade. Uh, sure, here. Destroy all this crap, too. Why not? Why not, right? Here, and then we'll break the locker down and take whatever metals are here. Perfect. I'm not going to worry about the rest of it. We'll leave it. There we go. Let's go and light the fire. And right there, you can see the bouncing flag. That's where we're going. All right. Just because you said so, I will finally do it. Here, let's go and make the cooking stand. We have all the things. Enables cooking at campfires. Yeah, I should have done that like forever ago. I don't know why I never did. And we'll go ahead and make the Safari outfit. 10% block, damage block, and then some more heat protection. That would let us wear a different hat, presumably. Although I do kind of like this Road Warrior outfit, so... I'm not inclined to get rid of that because I like running speed. So we have some things to cook. Uh, where are you? Um, oh, we used all of it when crafting, huh? Crap. All right, well, this one we can make, pretty sure. And we have not done this one before, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to have just barely enough spices. There you go. So strafing speed plus 5%. Fish rolled up into ball shape and then deeply fried, crispy and tasty. And then smoked fish pasta. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six of those guys. Three mushrooms. I do not want to eat this. That is gross. I mean, never mind the fish in it. Ugh. There's nothing good in there except for the pasta itself. Everything else, not a fan. If you are, good for you. I'm glad. Not for me. Okay. Feels good to finally knock some of those guys out. Although, apparently I need to go grab some more uh, cacti. No, didn't realize that. My bad. Man, we are super close to level 32. 30, comma, 2, T-O-O. -O. Alright, what do we got out here? I mean, we could technically use uh, one of the giant mana bead things to make everyone die out here, but I'm not sure I really want to do that just yet. I think this area over here is where one of the fuel cells is, so it looks like we got a tower over there. Scan energy sources. I don't remember what that does. Found a strange source of energy. Okay. Hmm, maybe I didn't know what that did. <laughs> uh, ascension signal. That kills things. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Transmits a high energy mana powered signal that ripples through space and time. Transmitter breaks the transmission. Responds all monsters as tougher versions. New monsters award more experience points and have better material drops. Interesting. So I think what we have to do is do that guy first and then do the ascension signal. 
but you have to kill off it looks like all or darn near all of the monsters to be able to make that work that's interesting that's very interesting all right well let's go take a sit and actually you know what here before we do that let's see if i can find enough cacti right quick just so we can wrap up on on a little cacti cooking because I kind of wanted to do that this episode and I seem to have messed that up. All right, let's take a sit. Level 30, we can get a new level up bonus. Can do scavenger, hoarder. I'm inclined to go fighter. I mean, that one works for me. So our new thing over here is the bandolier. A slung sash for holding additional uses of throwable weapons. Extra throwable weapon item uses plus one. Duh. This is why we've been collecting so much fabric. I mean, more or less. So we've got some coats over there, etc. Motorcycle helmet. A helmet with a visor makes it a lot easier to hack and slash without the blood getting into your eyes. Slashing melee damage plus 8% and damage block. Plus 8%. Uh, we don't have a lot of steel, so let's go ahead and make it, because that sounds kind of cool. And I wonder, just out of curiosity's sake, look at that. 10%. Sure, use those hides. What else are we going to use them for? Mana beads and rubber. Sure. Increase the damage some more, because why not? And now we have run out of titanium, so we're not going to be able to upgrade that anymore. Oh, uh, that's fine. We should probably upgrade the sickle just for the giggles just so we can do some very effective harvesting of stuff. Iron and ceramics, that'll give us another use of the proximity mine. Sure, I don't know, whatever, it's fine. Uh, material magnet, I keep thinking that one might be a fun one to do, so sure, 200%. We're not really using it per se, but uh, we might. At some point I might make enough trinkets to be able to uh, select another one here. In fact, we should probably do that. Trinket, baseball card, wood and plastics. Yep, knockback strength. Great. Done. Okay, and then hand wraps. Oh, we don't have steel. Power attack damage. Actually, that would be a good one. I wouldn't mind having that one at all. Berserker charm. Uh, sure, make that one too. Wood, bone, and mana beads. Blown through a bunch of mana beads, but I'm hoping that'll get us... Let's see, is that... That's a special item. Hmm... Sure, we'll do that one too. Why not? Some achievement just unlocked, I have no idea what. No idea what. And then a monster scanner, we don't have what we need for that, interestingly enough. I do kind of like the idea that we should try that one. Ooh, master lockpick. Some titanium and mana beads. Okay, well that one's easy enough to do. We can do that one on uh, one of the next ones, potentially. Look at that, 60 recipes done. And then, oh, we were supposed to cook. Sorry, I knew there was one more thing I was supposed to do before we wrapped this one up. So, all the cacti, and then throw in a few tomatoes for some reason. Backstab critical chance, plus 5%. I'll take it. And just out of curiosity, if we switch out our headgear, it's probably going to be hot, is my guess. Yeah. But I also want to see if this will be... Where's the safari outfit? There we go. If this will, in fact, increase our damage. Oh, yeah. That increases it a fair amount because I'm pretty sure we were not doing 105 damage on a swing before. I mean, here, it was like 170-something on a power attack. Yeah, 209. How you doing? I kind of like this, and I think it goes well very very well with the safari outfit that is that is a really good look right there is what that is catch you next one till on thanks for watching oh boy see you later